The Old Dominion Monarchs. Surprising team last year. Surprising team went 6 and 7 overall, won their last 5 games and made it to a bowl game. Opened up 1 and 6 last year and and then won their last 5 to get to the Myrtle Beach Bowl. Now they got trounced by Tulsa, but regardless, uh, their postgame win expectancy last season was 6.83 and 5.17, which reads out as about 7 and 5. Should have been 7 and 5, ended up 6 and 6. Yeah, you get it. Ricky Ronnie has done a pretty good job recruiting and whatnot so far. It's going to take a long time to build this roster up. You're going to have to have more seasons like you had last season. I don't think this season is it. I don't think this one's it. This schedule is brutal. Their non-conference was brutal. Uh, Virginia Tech at East Carolina, at Virginia, and you got Liberty. I don't know that they can win any of them. Let me take that back. They can win. I don't know that they will. This is a tough, tough slate for the non-con. And then, of course, like I said, this division is just brutal. Uh, Looking at the offense, quarterback Hayden Wolf is back, and he's exciting, but, yeah. They got back uh, the running back Watson, three starting wide receivers led by Jennings and uh, the tight end Koontz, and, of course, four offensive line starters. They are number three in the country in offensive returning production. That is awesome. But does experience mean improvement? Remember, they were number 91 in PPA per drive on offense last year. That is not good. Now, obviously, it did get better towards the end of the season. But that was when they were playing uh, some lesser than opponents, I'll say. Lesser than, roundabout. On top of that, there's no lesser thans on this schedule this year. You don't have any way to get your feet wet when you open up with Virginia Tech at East Carolina and at Virginia. I mean, this is it's brutal. Just brutal. Uh, The passing success rate was number 100, and ODU's quarterbacks were number 107 in QBR last year. Again, the questions, does experience mean improvement? I can't stress enough how many times we've talked about, yeah, returning production is great, but when the returning production was not good, it's not like they're all of a sudden going to get better. We'll see. We'll see what this means. Uh, The defense, by the way, number 63 in returning production, way off from the offense. Defense was good last year, but the problem is they lose some of that defense. Uh, Three-fifths of the secondary are gone, uh, along with the star linebacker, Jordan Young. I mean, they kind of led this team last year. Can the young guys maintain that number 36 PPA per drive allowed? I'm going to doubt it. They got experience depth at linebacker, like plenty at defensive line. They got six guys with 330 plus snaps from last year. They got four guys with 200 plus snaps coming back at linebacker. Secondary only has three guys with 400 plus snaps. Uh, you know, okay, this is this is a tough tough situation. They only brought in four transfers. They lost 11, but again, they're building this through high school recruiting, and I understand why Ricky Ronnie would want to do that. So. They started again 1-6 and six last year, finished 5-0, and oh, then got trounced in the Myrtle Beach Bowl. Uh, the first three non-con games are pretty rough. Road slate looks impossible. The road slate, by the way, at Coastal, at Georgia State, at App State, at South Alabama. <laughs> I mean, who, who did this to them? This is just wrong. Just wrong. Uh, a bowl game this year is, is going to be difficult, even with so much experience returning from a team that made a bowl last year. Uh, there are playmakers and potential superstars, but the roster lacks talented depth. I, you know, we'll we'll see what this looks like. This is another CUSA team that's that's making the move up, and and again, this is a brutal division. This is tough. This is going to be really really difficult. So uh, I've got them three and nine. I don't like it. I hope that they do well. I like the Monarchs. I like what they're building there. I, I like the logo. I like. Uh, it, the stadium. I like all this stuff around them. But man, this step up in, in divisions is rough. I think it's going to be a really rough first year. Three and nine for Old Dominion. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.